for trying to stop them from hurting their own community, man. No, I feel you. I feel you. Oh. That's the problem. Is that's, what, that's what's happening. How do you want to be described in a photo? Militia. People track? No, we're no, no, no. I'm about militia. You're the only person who Guy and cowboy boots. Huh? Guy and cowboy boots. So you're just trying to prevent them from destroying their own community? Yeah. yeah. All right. I, you know, I understand why they're mad at the cops. They tried to murder one of their people. Yeah. I understand it. But your neighbors didn't do shit to yeah. All right. Well, stay frosty, boys. Any of you, any of you prior service? Any? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, uh, Army? Yeah. Uh, I can kind of tell because of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Stay safe, guys. Oh, there's more windows to smash. And as my dear friend uh, Rita Penny here has noted today on Twitter, it doesn't matter what slogan you put out the front of your building, it doesn't matter how much you kiss the ring, nothing's going to save you from the mob. Even if you're the church who puts the sign out the front saying Black Lives Matter, they'll burn it down anyway slash rioters, they're always angry about something. And this time, there's footage of them uh, rioting in the streets being shared online, and they're not happy about that because <coughs> the cops might find out what they're up to. Have a look at this. Stop sharing videos and pictures of people at riots. The police are tracking these people down, and by posting pictures of them, you are threatening their lives. So please stop posting pictures of them. And here's an example of the mob not behaving in the peaceful manner that we've been told they're behaving. Uh, this is how they treat an elderly lady who was not happy with the, uh, the Antifa rioting. Have a look. <laughs> Rowan, just that treatment of that elderly lady who was just standing there peacefully and you can see they've covered her with some sort of a white substance, a 